Do you want to finish chewing before we go? No. <laughs> you go, I chew. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, so out on the table here in front of us and also in these boxes over to our right, we have a bunch of stuff that Andrew purchased at the flea market last week and it's a lot of stuff. I haven't seen a lot of it yet. I've seen some of it because there is stuff out on the table that we were kind of going through. Um, but we're gonna go through this stuff and talk a little bit about it, check it out and uh, see how he did without me, without my expertise to guide him. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking there's a couple good things here. Yeah, I know. I like what I'm seeing on the table, so I'm excited to see what's in the boxes. So let's get through this stuff and uh, all right. This is a monster. Let's get this out of the way. This okay. one's more California. California pottery. I really like the shape of that. It's a very mid-century shape. It's simple. It's simple. Oh yeah, I like it. It, it can go to a, in, in a lot of spaces and a lot of different dusty. I accidentally spoons. just spoke into it and all the dust just came right back into my face. <coughs> Meanwhile, I'm just going to sit here and eat these. No, because you need to be talking about stuff. Stop eating candy. Brock's chewy Christmas Stop mint candies. Stop eating candy. Amazing. All right, I can talk about this then. There you go. All right, so this is another item that you picked up. Um... Does that say Swarovski? It does. Now we actually already had this piece listed and it sold last evening. Um, we have been getting a little ahead in listing this stuff so it's not really lining up right now and I do apologize for that. I know a lot of people get a little upset about that, um, that our videos and our stuff listed isn't really lining up. We're um, working on it. But part of the reason is, you know, the kids just had a week and a half off from school and it really cut into our filming time, you know, but we had the kids home, so we weren't too concerned with filming as much. So, um, so we did. I already have this listed. It sold for fifty-two dollars. There are some listed for a hundred to one hundred and fifty dollars. So, it is a really nice piece. It's got Swarovski crystals on there. Swarovski. That's what I meant to say. And it is Captain Lante porcelain. So, it's a really nice piece. Good job, Andrew. That was a good pick by Eric. Eric spotted that piece and that oh, was did a, he? That's, yeah, that's an Eric pick. Ah, oh, man. He's got a really good, he he's got a really, really good He really does, out. yeah. Teapot. This one's not marked, but I really liked. I'm sorry, he just drops his pepper and now he's grumbling about it. Well, he'll go get it. Uh, yeah, I know, but he dropped it and he was like, <laughs> I really like the, uh, just the shape and the lines on this. Yeah, I like that too. It's not marked though. Mm -mm. No. It's heavy. No, it's a really nice piece. I like those lines. It's a nice line. Yep, I bought that again. Just yeah. shape on it. And again, it was inexpensive. I have to do a little bit of research to figure out who makes that. Could very well be modern. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Actually, I was just looking on the inside at how white the porcelain mm -hmm. is. Yeah, it could I, be a modern right. piece made to look vintage, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, a lot of people like that vintage look, um, but like, you know, the modern. So. And um, someone was just asking me to, we were just talking about this earlier, um, why we don't pick up modern stuff. Okay. We do, occasionally. Occasionally. But very rarely because you have to remember this it's so much more readily available. There's yeah, so and, and much more of it. I don't really know the modern stuff. Yeah. You know? I don't know what it's worth. It's hard. So <laughs> you can't and you can't know everything. It's yeah. it's impossible. So we kind of focus on the older stuff, which is easier to pick out. Um, and easier to know a market value of that stuff. I mean I guess technically yeah. you could look up the modern stuff, but I just yeah, I mean, I like, for example, Amazon, they have, um, uh, like, a barcode scanner. Yeah. That, and you can scan barcodes on books mm -hmm. when you go into their, their yeah. stores. And you can pick out, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, oh, and the people at the one. bins are always doing that. There's always mm -hmm. people at the bins with, like, overflowing carts and they're, they're with their barcode yep. scanners yep. looking through books. Yeah, so know. there is modern stuff that you can buy and flip yeah. and make a profit on. But it's just not our wheelhouse, and that's that's pretty much why I steer clear of modern stuff. Yeah, um, I if, think that goes for both of us. If I would have taken a closer look at that and and thought that it may be modern when yeah. I picked it up, um, 
I probably would have left it behind, to be honest really? with you. Honestly? Yeah. I mean, I like the shape of it. I think it's a good pick. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know everything. I'm, I, I learn new things every day. Well, we both do. This is cool. This is Texaco Scotty Terriers. Um, it is marked on the inside here, Belvedere. Hmm. I like These that. are 1930s. They were a uh, Texaco gas station premium, mm -hmm. and it's still got the old plug on it, it too. But it looks like it's in good shape. Yeah, it just needs to be, um, it needs a cover for that. Which is just a little Or just of, a replacement plug. Which are inexpensive. Yep. Very inexpensive. Um, no, this is, it has been spray painted. I don't know if that would have originally had like a, a bronze finish or a brass finish. They were black. Were they All black? of the examples that I was able to find Okay, online. so maybe somebody just touched it up. The only reason I could tell that it was spray painted is normally the socket here is not black. Right, So right, that's right. how I can tell that it's spray no, painted. No, well that, that portion on the other ones is, is brass. So yeah. That, yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. But the dogs are meant to be black. Okay. And I mean that's easy to replace if you, don't, if you want it if to you be want, brass. Yeah. But maybe they decided they just wanted it all black and so they painted it black. But I really like that. And how much did you save those? Days? So they were in range from fifty to a hundred dollars. All righty, nicely done. Yeah, so that's that's <laughs> a nice piece. Did oh, he drop no. his pepper? He dropped it all the way down. He's over there looking down like this. I thought this was cool. This was actually like an afterthought. I went back and grabbed this. Somebody else picked this up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it works yet or not. We got to put a battery in it. Um, somebody picked it up, was looking at it, and I went, "Yeah, I should have grabbed that." And they put it down. Yeah. And I said, okay, well, you know what? If you're going to put it down, I'm going to pick it up because... That's shiny. It is shiny. <laughs> I like it. It's all, It's the dice on the loose site. Yeah. From yeah, Las Vegas. That's neat. With the clock built in. I like the dice clocks. I think they're cool. And we sold one recently, the the black one with the mm -hmm. dice. Yeah. Unfortunately, the first person who bought it did not pay for it. So he had to list it up a second time. But oh, that seems to be a common problem these days. I did pick up a couple bottles. This one I'm probably going to wind up giving to the guy at the flea market that likes yeah. local hutches. J.H. Fett and Son, Reading, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. So this is a Hutchinson, um, and that is because of the closure that was used on it, the shape of the bottle. If you hear the term, instead of somebody calling it soda, if they call it pop, these bottles are the reason that soda is called pop because the stopper, when you push the stopper in, mm -hmm. it would pop. And that's where the phrase pop came from. So that's kind of cool. Uh, local Elizabethtown Hertzlers applied color label. This one's 1944. So this one's dated, which is cool. The ACL on the name side isn't the greatest, but if you like cows, the ACL on the graphic for the cow side is awesome. Yeah. And I love the brown and yellow. Display it that way, because this way. I love the brown and yellow. Yeah, that's I great. think the brown and yellow just pop together. And there was a little milk cap, but this is for a later bottle. This does not fit this bottle. Mm. This style cap would have actually gone over the lip, where this one has a cardboard disc. Ah that sits inside and it's got a little cardboard pull tab on it that you peel up and you pull it off. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this is cool. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about this little guy first. So this little guy was a gift and somebody dug him in Texas and gave him to me for my channel, Naughty Dog. And I've had him ever since. Well, come to find out that these guys were cane toppers at carnivals and amusements and fairs and stuff like that. Well, apparently they made other things besides canes and whatnot. And they made magnifying glasses. I want to give a close up. So it's the same dog, but on a magnifying glass. And the antique dealer that had that actually had that priced at $150. Yeah, that's awesome. I haven't done any research yet to see <laughs> if I can find another example online. But when I saw the dog head, <laughs> I lost it. 
I lost it. I was like, Eric, Eric probably thought I was a complete and utter nut. <laughs> Already thinks that I'm sure. I'm sure, but you that's give him beside that, the fact. Like you this give him sealed that the deal. mug with peat crust out of there. <laughs> that sealed the deal, though. <laughs> the, the, the dog sealed the deal. But this is why I was so excited. Is because somebody gifted me one, and we found out what it was. So I yeah. immediately knew what this was, what this dog was made for. So that tells me this is this is probably early turn of the century piece. It's a great, great piece. Um, I'm excited. This is really exciting. This is this is a cool piece. This is killer. I really like that. <laughs> He's over here. Um, Lisa, who actually she makes the pens and stuff mm -hmm. for Sue's channel. She had sent us a box of goodies for Christmas, and in that box were some bird toys. And I He's put one over to, here on his case before we started the video. He's going to town. And he is going to town on that toy. He <laughs> loves it. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Uh, let's see. Let's move this off to the side. These are cool. Have you ever been to the Opera? I've never been to the Opera. You've never been to the Opera? I have to research the brand and see if it's a decent brand, but these were in Mother of Pearl inlaid opera glasses. So fancy. Don't they normally have like a thing that you hold like like this? Like you hold them up like that? Um, yes, they That's do. They have yeah, in the they movies. yes, they do have a mount with a handle that you can hold them. Yes, absolutely. Okay. But that is like a separate additional piece. Oh, that that's you have like to, like an add-on. Like an add -on. if you want to spend more money, you can get an add-on. But with these, while you're while you're viewing, oh, you've got you just view like this. Maybe that's the fancy way to do maybe, it. Maybe maybe kind of perk, oh. perk up a little bit. Like this. Kind of view. Yeah, just kind of like this. <laughs> It's got, actually listen, work? Oh yeah. Am I not doing it right? I well, they have an adjustment on them. So they're like binoculars. They have they adjust. They, I'm like I don't see anything you, out of here. You just twist that side. Maybe if piece. I shut one eye. Oh, <laughs> the ring light. Oh my god! I think it's just blinded myself. All right, I'm done playing. <laughs> You're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> gonna hurt yourself with those opera binoculars. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, they have half of the original box, which was priced at sixty six seventy nine. Goodness, Weird that was so long ago. Um, and the original um, little wipey thing. Yeah, still in the Very package. Nice. Opera glass, which is cool, and I just thought it was neat. That's a cool piece. Um, we did get several more dogs, creatures. We love dogs. Oh, this guy's cute. He's one of the boo boo dogs, I think. Aww. This guy's cast iron. I like this guy. This is killer. This is awesome. I love that. This is a really super early primitive toy. I love. When I saw you pull that, I was like, I oh love my that gosh. dog, and he is not broken. He is awesome. I mean, the tail has a doink on the end. Okay, granted. Look at the age of that thing. That thing is amazing. The nails are rusted, like. He's great. All the legs still function and move. Nothing falls off. I love him. His head swivels a little bit side to side. Like I'm really not into primitive, but I'm totally into this. His paint, <laughs> his paint is half decent. Um, and again, for oh, he's just he's cool. Yeah. I want to say I got now him. I wonder if there was something bills. here. Well, it looks like. Because there's like a little. I almost wonder I mean? if maybe they had some sort of uh, sticker or something over top covering uh, the nail heads. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably something covering the nail heads. He's great. I really like him. Very cool. You know what? It looks like his eyes are actually a decal. So maybe he had a decal, decal there, there well. and maybe one on his chest there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool puppy. Yeah. Yep. Um, I was super happy to find that. These are more modern. These are those Egyptian glass, mm -hmm. but just, I don't know. I have a thing for these. I like these. They're pretty. I think they put a lot of nice work and effort into these. This one's got multiple colors to it and frosting. They've got the stoppers are in excellent condition. There's no damage to these for as thin and fragile as these are. And they were in one of the boxes? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, and then That's they were, so impressive. And then they were twinking around on oh the way home, gosh. too. Oh, All you could hear was, Tank, 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 tank. 
anyway but yeah no they're they're in beautiful shape so very pleased um <laughs> here you half a cup of coffee oh that's so sweet i love that i'm gonna have out of my whole cup of coffee oh gosh <laughs> not focusing it's it too will. bright it will it will there, there it goes. goes it's magic you know what I've realized this is for your half donkeyed friends <laughs> I can I can say that you can I can say half donkeyed you friends can. insert your own different word yeah but it's from Colorado Springs so that's cool um some more Salt cellars. Salt cellars. Those are really pretty. I like those. And I'm sorry for those of you who don't like the close-ups. Uh, we've been getting a lot of complaints lately about close-ups, but I feel like the vast majority of our viewers prefer the close-ups. So it's like, we can't really win. It's one way or the other, but um, I feel like the close-ups are important. Yeah, on especially on certain <laughs> items, especially smalls where it's hard to see where we're sitting back. And some of the some of the detail actually pops a lot better in the video when you get the close up on the video than even the eBay pictures. Yeah. And we try to we really try to be finicky about the eBay pictures, but sometimes it's just uh, I don't know. Yeah, oh, I know. It drives me nuts. Um but yeah, this is cool. This is Hull. Mm -hmm. You didn't talk about it, did yeah, you? Oh, yeah, it is whole. I knew it was whole. I just didn't mention that it was whole. I'm <laughs> sorry I was passing it Sorry. Yeah, no, this is whole. It says so on the bottom. <laughs> I'm just giving you guys close up. Because in my head, I'm like, yeah, it's whole. And, uh, I didn't actually say it out loud, but it is a whole piece. No damage on it either. No, it's a nice looking piece. Whole art. Yeah. Here's some uh, Limit J. I love this piece. Yeah. I pulled this I like out the, of the box. I like that it's got the gold and then it turns to yes. like a, it's like like a, a pink. pinkish purplish. Yes. Gosh, I hope they can see that. Yeah. Yeah, they'll see it. And you can see it's not just gold and white. In between there's this transition of this pinky color. I'm totally digging it. And I didn't actually take a look at the mark before I showed you. It is AK. I can't remember what AK stands for off the top of my head. I know some of them, but I can't remember AK. We don't usually come across a whole bunch of AK mark stuff. The Limoges book is up on the floor yeah. in the office, so I know we can look that up easily. Yep. This is cool. Um, Reed and Barton, we've actually gotten these blue enamel bowls yeah. before, but I really liked the shape on this one especially. Mm -hmm. um, usually they're all round yeah. that I've seen, that I've picked up. They are silver plate. But that, that blue enamel just pops. It pops with the silver, absolutely. It, yeah. It is marked. It does have the original. The sticker is wiped out, but it is the original sticker. Um, and it is plate. It is plate, yes. Yeah, absolutely plate. With an enamel on the inside there. Yeah, I love that blue. I do too. This is kind of cool. This is kind of, this would make for a good Christmas decoration. Hostess holiday fruitcake tin. <laughs> There were some other tins there. Um, I, I wasn't too sure, but I liked I liked that this was Hostess. Um, I liked the color and the graphics on this, and I figured it's got kitchen decor use or Christmas decor use, mm. multi multi use. So I grabbed that one out of all the other ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the graphics are still pretty good. Yeah. Especially the sides are a lot nicer than the top. But yeah. But still. Mm -hmm. I think this guy's modern as all get out. Yeah. But I thought he was cool as all get out too. Neat. It's like a foo dog or a dragon yeah. or something. Heavy too. Yeah, he's a, he's, a red, he's a red clay. Yeah. He's neat. He's not marked anywhere. Mm -hmm. Looks like he had a sticker though. He's got sticker residue. That's on what him. I was afraid of. I was I was afraid of like maybe made in China or something. Yeah. But again, 
This is an example of a modern item that looks really neat, looks really cool, would make for a great decoration piece. Even in, it doesn't say not food worthy no, on it, it which it would have to be marked. <laughs> okay, so let's pick up where we left off. We, we have to take a brief break so that I could put the video out for today. But now we're gonna get right back to it. Why don't you talk about that plethora of Lima J? I think they're Limoges. M and Z Austria. They are, they are mm -hmm. Austria. Okay, I thought they were Limoges. They're beautifully hand painted. By the way, Charlie and Pumpkin are very mad. Um, you can hear them. They're yelling a lot. Andrew grounded them earlier because Charlie's flying all over the place and so he locked them in their cage. And they're vengeful birds. They're chewing on the windows. <laughs> So, Charlie's got to get an appointment to have his wings clipped again. He's a very angry bird. And anyway. I just, want to, I just want to throw this out there because I know there's a lot of people that are like, why would you clip their wings? We have two young kids in the house that have young kids that go in and out our doors that we cannot watch yeah. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They come in and out without us watching them all the time. And I'm definitely afraid that one of the times that if they open the door and that bird can fly out the door and he's he's a goner. Yeah. In South Central center. Pennsylvania, he's a goner. It's he, scary. So for his safety is why I would do is why I do that. Not because I don't want the bird to fly. Now, Hager, he's in the house. He kinda sorta flies. I'm not as concerned with him because there's no yeah, the other birds are on the sun porch, so they're closer to the door, so it's just safety. So I don't want anybody freaking out because I'm clipping my bird's wings, but it's got to be done so so they don't get For out and sake. freeze. Yeah. Um, okay, so these are M and Z Austria. Actually, really pretty hand painted demi toss cups. I believe they're demi toss. They're tall. There's a whole slew of them. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna grab them. There's like a zillion of them. They're all painted differently. We've got a whole stack of plates. If I can get them to focus. And a lot of the plates are painted with different designs. I mean, these ones are yellow. These ones are blue. And then we've got some larger plates. Like this is a complete set right here that I've put together. This one's really pretty. Yes. Yeah, so this one is green. And it's got the cup, a little saucer, and then it's got a larger plate there. Um, but they are marked Emmons the Austria, and there's actually quite a few of them. A lot of them. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's at least a dozen cups. A dozen cups, and there's more plates than cups, unfortunately, which means some of the cups have broke. But I've, I also noticed when I was taking pictures last night. Some of the plates are signed by the artist who painted them. And um, I was also told that not all the cups and saucers were in the same box together. Oh, so there might be some more. There, in there could be some more in there. Oh, well, I guess we will see. Yes, so. Um, so I just, I really like those. I was playing with those last night. I took a picture of a few of them and I planned on getting them listed last night, but we ended up going out to eat, so. Hmm. You know, priorities. So we'll probably get them up listed soon. And I think I'm gonna do just one-offs. You know, a complete set of this, a complete set of that. And just try to pair them together in sets and get them listed. These are cool. There is... That's some open sliding gas buggy. Gas buggy, handsome. Oh. A bicycle for two. So there's a set of four, and then there's two duplicates. These are kind of cool. Hmm. Green, the green. I liked the shape on these too, how they're like rounded at the bottom. Yeah. I wonder who makes these. If these are Hazel Atlas or Anchor Hawking. And none of them are marked. No, they're not marked. They're cool though. Yeah. I actually saw a set of these at Finders Keepers in New York when we were there. Oh yeah? Yeah, and I passed on them, which I don't know why I did. I thought they were cool. I'm like, oh, those are cool. And then I wanted to buy some. And then you wanted to buy Yeah. Uh -huh. I just, it was like, a, oh, I'll come back to these. And then I never did, you know, it was one of those. Oh, this is cute. How about this little footed? Nippon? 
Nippon. Mmm, I called it. A little Nippon dish with little knobby feet. I've got a Christmas nougat. That's all you've been eating this whole video, it's you and your crinkling. Peppermint Christmas nougat is what it's called. It's made by Brock's and it is amazing. And, it, and I have a whole bag of it stashed. I know you have got it stashed from the kids because Juliet was getting into them. I know. I know, and I know where your stash is, and I might let her know where your stash is. Don't cross me. Mm. <laughs> what was that you were saying? A <laughs> couple letter openers. Oh my gosh. This one's just a letter opener. <laughs> no, this one's cool though, because it's got the golf guy on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even notice he was a golf dude. Now, this one's been repaired, but I grabbed it. It's Elkton, Virginia. It's hand carved. It's dated 1903. That is so cool. And it was done by Annie. Annie made this. That is so neat. Yeah, it's got the date on there. Um, there's the bird. That's actually really neat. I like that. And those are mountains she carved on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. That's, yeah, I can see why they repaired that. I wouldn't Elton, try to Virginia, open any packages I say, with it. I want to say that maybe that's the, the Blue Ridge Mountains that you would probably see there, I think. It's possible. Hmm. Anyway, this is um, Derby Porcelain, circa 1800 to 1825. There is no saucer for this. We were talking 200 years old. That thing's amazing. It's beautiful. That is really pretty. I like that. Something that George Washington's kids would have drank out of. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I know. It's fantastic. I love that. Giant boo-boo dog. <laughs> he looks like a pirate. I know. He's even got a patch on his eye. Look at him. He's so sad. I know. He's got a... His arm and his, well, his, his leg, his paw, and a sling, and then he's got his eye patch, but it's gold. That's what's so weird. It's like a gold arm sling and a gold eye patch. Poor mm. feller. It's not marked, I'm assuming, Japan, though. I'm not very heavy either. No. Oh, look, he's got a repair on his ear. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I didn't notice that either. Dang it. Dun, dun, dun. All right, moving along. This is cool. Didn't we just see one of these? We did. We saw one of those at the Goodwill. But it was missing day. its lid. It was. And that one at Goodwill didn't have this fancy little thing inside. Oh, but... wow. Well, you look at that fancy little thing inside. That is fancy. I do like this ice bucket, though. The finial is metal. Yeah. I like that. And I, when he pulled that out, I was like, you know what? That reminds me of the caboodles. That I had, those makeup things that I had when I was a kid. It's not marked. It's made by Caboodles, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Caboodles. This is Japan. Looks like a lotus flower almost. I guess it would be a rose bowl. A vase of some sort. Maloney Pottery, Lightfoot, Virginia. I just liked small pottery piece. This is cool. Inkwell. Well, that is cool. It's like a heavy glass. Mm hmm. Sucker is heavy. Number 55. Oh, cool. cool little textile patch. Yes, I saw you picked that. It's a shame. It's an, I, like, I, I love finding those, and it always breaks my heart to see them. Like, you know. I still saved it. And exactly. And the reason we do that is because a lot of people repurpose them and, and use them for other things. Mm -hmm. So it's always a good idea. You know, if there is some, you know, corner or something that can be saved or upcycled or, you know, we, we try to save them when we can. And same thing with vintage stuffed animals. This guy's in really good shape. And he's a gund, he's which, is a, which is a better name. He's really cute, actually. Kitty Gund. Gund <laughs> Manufacturing Company. J. Swedlin, Inc. 200 Fifth Avenue, New York City, 10 New York. Pre-zip code. He's really cute. I like him. <clears throat> Aww, meow. 
Meow. <laughs> See, I don't hate all cats. Just the ones that make, ones just are... makes me the ones that make me sneeze. <laughs> no, he's cool. I do like him because he's like in that like little. Yeah. Look at my cute little. He just butt. needs like a little mouse, like mauling a little. Or you mouse. can put on a lazy Susan and just wiggle his butt at your friends <laughs> on your table. You're like, haha! Look at my stuffed kitty butt. I don't know butt. where you come up with these ideas. I don't know either. <laughs> they just pop into my head. It's kind of like picking things up like this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's a monkey with a bedpan. I know, but I just thought you put it in the video. I'm like, what? And then you brought it home and you're like, this is the coolest thing ever. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. The viewers say I don't get excited enough about your stuff. This is me showing excitement. Get excited. Let's put it up with all the beautiful glassware <laughs> I have. <laughs> and when people come over, they can look at it. Actually, what I thought this would be cool for is if if this were like a decoration, like somebody bought it and they put it at their workstation in the hospital. Yeah, oh yeah. You got lollipops. Hmm. You got lollipops sticking out of a bedpan. Yeah. Would and say, there, say you have a family that comes in to visit. Yeah. And the kid is allowed to have a lollipop, you know, you know, a cool monkey with lollipops yeah. sticking out. It's, I like it, that idea. I just thought it was a cool... I mean, it's got the porcelain inside is jingling around. Yeah. It's not broken, but I think that was, it's probably from these two little vent holes. And it was done in 1973, 1973 by Carol. So thank you, Carol, for the several moments of amusement that we've had <laughs> that I'm sure somebody else will get to enjoy. You oh, rock, I Carol. I love it. Mm -mm -mm. That is so cute. Little doghouse. With a little, little puppy dog. That's cute. Little dog house and a puppy to go with it. There we go. Hager, you like that too? You keep those big wings to yourself. I thought this was really cool. Almost, I don't think this is a child's piece. I almost thought maybe this was like a sample. Mm -mm. Hmm. The folks seem to like these little nut bowls. Mm hmm. Nortaki. What else? What else? What else? Let's get into the boxes. I'm excited for boxes. <laughs> I've seen all this stuff on the table for days. This is actually kind of cool. I do need to check this out because I picked this up at the bill. I'm, I'm not sure if, if I think this is a salt, mm -hmm. but this is hallmarked mm -hmm. and it is silver. Absolutely without a doubt going around this is, is, is a silver band. So when you have an old silver hallmark, you can actually tell where it was made time frame if it was made. If you can make out the hallmark, that's pretty. I should be able to. There's a lion and a pea. A lion is usually... It's a shield, a lion, and a pea. Okay. Yeah, the pea is going to be the year. It's really cool. It's a cute little piece. And being as it's three marks, that'll give me another clue. I got a book upstairs that deciphers all that and it has... Of course you have a book. And there's a really good website, uh, 925-1000.com. It's a silver hallmark site where it's got all kinds of American and foreign stuff on there to look up. Killer website. These are cool. Still in the original box, Hammersley. Mm -hmm. Cream and sugar set. Those nice. Yeah, they're really pretty. These are awesome though. These are cover your face. I can't cover my face. I don't want to. I can't cover my face. That's <laughs> so <laughs> These are amazing. I really like those. When you showed those to me, I was like, oh my gosh. They have little spoons. Little spoons that go with them. They're cobalt blue. They're so heavy too. The inserts come out. 
They are that in their original presentation box. Those are nice. There are four spoons for four bowls. Better know. Killer little set. I like them. They're very I heavy. I love these. These will make for a cool, cool setting at the table. Okay. Now, are we into the box? Yes, let's get into the boxes. I'm just gonna scoop out this little pile. Oh, you be good. Mini jugs here, whatever these little doohickeys yeah, are. Yeah, these are interesting. Made in England. Yeah. City of London. They're very thin. This one is fourteen dollars. Ten dollars. I love when they have the stickers on. There. Now this is this one has a tag on the inside, and this has a tag that says eighteen ninety eight. W H Smith Company, Staffordshire. Staffordshire. Yeah, this one's different. This is, excuse me, Florentine China, made in England. City of London. You know that doesn't strike me as an eighteen ninety eight mark. No. No. Um, so here are the. Pieces is one of them. On the inside, I don't know if you guys can see it. There is a tag in there, and it says it's 1898. But looking at the mark on the bottom, that doesn't really strike me as being that old. I don't know. I could be mistaken, but I don't know. I've, I've looked at a lot of marks, and, and this almost looks like it went. It was a mold. You can see the mold seam right there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, I'm not feeling that piece. Some shakers. Oh, that's supposed to go that way, sorry. You and the <laughs> salt and pepper shakers, I can't with <laughs> you. They're like super cute and you have to make them not super cute. It's a little policeman boy with a little girl. That's so cute. These are even cooler. Yeah, I'll give you that. Those are way cooler. And I've seen those before and I can't snail. think. Snail, is that what it is? Snail. Are you sure? Snail. Is that what Eric told you? Snail, no, he did not tell me that. You just know that? Snail. Snail. Are you making it up? Snail. <laughs> they look like snails. Those are really cool. Don't they? Yeah, they snail. do, they do. I'll give it to you. They look like snail. Snail. Oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I figured out how he figured out snail. <laughs> it says snail on the bottom. Those are really cool. <clears throat> I'm like, did Eric tell you that? I know he did. He told you that. I love the shape of this cup. And this was only painted in 1970. But I love that round. I love that. Uh. And it's, it's signed. It is, and it's dated, and that's how we know it's 1970, but I do like that shape. Got some little... Probably left then, right? No. Joseph Originals. Oh. This is a Joseph Original. Oh, we got a school tea. <laughs> He's so cute. Joseph Originals. These are right hell. Oh, it's a rooster. I think maybe we should put some flowers on them. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of. Just don't let the floral foam dust get everywhere because I can't stand it's it. It's not, it's like a wax. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, what does it say? This is wrapped. I like when it's wrapped. 1930s, but I can't read what it says. It's in pencil written on the bottom. Um, probably says who makes it. Focus, 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 focus. There we go. For sir. Ooh, a head face. She's been... Repaired. Oh, it's a bummer. But still, she's different than the ones I usually see. I know. And now, head faces freak me out because there are so many reproduction head faces out there. It's 
ridiculous. So I always just steer clear of them because I am not an expert. I cannot tell the difference. I, it's just, if, I, I don't want to accidentally sell something thinking that it's a vintage head vase and it's not because of the reproductions. Um, yeah. We like to be accurate. We and, do. And if it's not something that we can be 100% on. I mean, we could just sell it as a head vase and let the, the buyer make that decision. Yeah, of but course, we would know in the description that we cannot tell if it's a reproduction or yeah. vintage. And uh, there's so many reproduct like the reproduction head vases out there are just they're everywhere. They're everywhere and because they're, really they're popular. Good. Yeah, because, because they're, they're popular and they're like big collectors pieces. Mhm. Mm and uh, it's one of those items that there's the one antique things. mall I go to and there's one booth in it. Well, there's actually a few, but, but one in particular, they have reproduction carnival glass in there. Ooh, that's scary. Oh my gosh. And I said something to the, the girls at the register and they said, well, well, that's up to the dealer. That's not our responsibility. And, and to me, you know, because we're looking into opening a shop and for me, I would want to know if a dealer, of course, maybe, you know, the dealer just doesn't know. But I would want to know if the dealer has stuff that is reproduction. reproduction, you know, and, and then I would go to that dealer and say, listen, you know, this stuff is, is reproduction because, you know, a person buys that, finds out it's a reproduction. They're not going to remember the dealer. And They're going to remember the antique shop. And it's not because we want to knock reproduction because you know what? The reproduction can be affordable. One of the pieces was a rare piece and it was $250. Now that's that's a different case. That's trying to pass off a reproduction as a and good piece. And that's why I would have said something. If it was all just you know, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have said anything. Yeah. But the fact that it was, it was a rare piece, two hundred and fifty dollars. That's why I said something, and it was met with, well, that's not our responsibility, and there's nothing we can do to police that. Mm, I'm looking at pretties. These are Lima J. These are, these are all signed by the same person, those are nineteen oh nine. And same person, 1910. Wow, I love that heavy gold. These are gorgeous. Yeah. Look how detailed those are. Wow. Yeah. 1910. They're all that the rest. In. All the these. This one's 1909. Okay. And there's, there's one that's marked 1910. This one's marked 1910. The rest are all 1909. Hmm. But these are gorgeous. They are. We make really cute dessert plates. Mm-hmm. plates. You know what? I listed that set last night without knowing the plates to go with it. Oh, shnikey. <laughs> I guess these are going to go up separately. This is why you got to watch the shopping video. Oh my gosh. These were hidden in the box. I listed a set last night. It was a master bowl with smaller bowls. And usually that's how it comes. It's a master set and it's dessert bowls. It's a, you know, there's dessert plates to go with it. So if you're bidding on it and you watch the video, these are probably going to go up separate. So keep an eye out for those. Oh my gosh. And there's six of them too. Yeah. That, that. Six bowls, six plates and a master bowl. Yep. I could have told you that, sorry. It's okay. That's she should right. watch the videos when I film. Did you buy those? I, I edited the video and I don't remember seeing those. Pay attention. Oh my gosh, I edit so many videos. It's just, I don't even remember editing some of them. Wow, that's really pretty. Is that a crack? No. Is, Is that it? manufactured? I don't feel it with my finger. It could be manufactured, but that's a beautiful piece. I wonder if it glows. I'm half tempted to leave the table right now and go test it. I'm <laughs> My black plate's in the kitchen. Get some shakers.
shakers. Ooh, Franciscan shakers. Just a little sugar. Go. We've got some Franciscan shakers. We have the little desert rose shakers. Some more Scotty creamers. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we've got the apple ones as well this time. Scotty candy bottle. Oh, we've got all sorts of Scotty stuff in this one. A Scotty lot today. This is adorable. What is this marked? It's not marked. Even has its original spoon. What? That's great. These are killer. Wow. Pretty neat. Oh, From it craft. even gets better. There's a salt and pepper too to go with them. This is why I love the boxes. I love being surprised. Look and at your the handles on these. You still have salt in them too. Free but, salt with your purchase. But wait a minute. Look at they're they're applied. I know. This is great. This is great stuff. This is why, even though you're excited to show me this stuff, you have to leave it in the boxes. Cause I get so excited for going through the box. I know. Yeah. But I get I get excited. I just want to like. I know. And then I'm like, oh, wait, just hold it. Wait, no. I need to see it come out of the box. Oh, that's nice. That is like the apply, you know the Pyrex that you got? Yes. That had that spray on coating? Yes. That's what this is. I mean, I don't know if it's Pyrex, but I'm saying this yeah, is yeah, that yeah, spray yeah, on yeah, coating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I almost wonder if maybe it's, it is? I don't know. It's not marked. Yeah, but it's that spray on coating. That's interesting. That's a piece to look up. This looks like Martin Pottery, almost. Hmm. It's just marked USA. USA. These are Royal Copley. And I love that it says mom on the bottom. This is pre-Bambi. This is great. Oh my gosh. That is everything. Okay, so we've got two of them here, but I think this one is my favorite because it was probably a gift to mom. And that's so sweet. Aww. Oh, stop. I'm like real sentimental about these sort of things. And you wonder, you wonder what the backstory is and why it ends up at the flea market and yeah. why it ends up with it, you know? Yeah. Like the oh, mom yeah. passed away and did it get just like... But here's the thing is these things are not winding up in a landfill somewhere. I know. They're yeah. winding up in new homes, getting repurposed, getting a new life. And you know what? Those memories that are in these pieces, they're, they're still there. They're not going anywhere. I know. It's just so sweet. It's just when I drop this stuff accidentally and break it, that's when I shatter those dreams and memories. Cause I don't think you've fun. ever dropped anything and broke it, not honestly. Yet. Not yet. Oh my god. No, I'm, I'm really careful. I I seriously, I, I, and my kid has been doing a phenomenal job as far as I can tell. He has. Any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, please feel free to comment <laughs> below if you've bought something. <laughs> and he's doing a crappy job, I want to know. Poor fire Walter. Him, fire him, too. Poor Walter. Um, it's Monday. Stop it. <laughs> We've got one more box, if I can get to it without breaking anything else. All right. Jenga. We timed out. Jenga. How's our time? We timed out. I just mm, started. Cool. These are cool. Those are cool. I've seen those before. I think those sell pretty well. They do. Light metals. Yeah, but what does the mark say? Zephyrware. Zephyrware. That's a lot of cups. That's a lot of cups. A lot of very shiny cups. Yes, they're really cool <laughs> though. These would, these would be cool for Christmas. They would, wouldn't they? If you could get just the red and green ones. We should keep the red I green like ones. color. I don't know. You, you, you want white lights in the tree. I want red and blue and green and yellow and orange. I and compromise with the tinsel. Red tinsel, yes. Thanks. 
I want color next year. <laughs> you said our tree looked amazing. It does. It did. It did. It did. Finally took it down. It was really depressing. I, I would love to leave it up all year. Do you like some fake Murano? Is it fake? Could we decide? I don't know. You never told me. I never asked Mary. I, I forgot. Um, so there are a lot of pieces out there that have fake Murano stickers. This piece has a Murano sticker on it, but it doesn't really strike me as being Murano. So um, it's kind of up in the air. I will show you the sticker. And somewhere out there, there is a da database of fake Murano stickers. I don't even know if it's upside down for you guys. Yeah, it is upside down. Uh, so we're going to have to find that database or just bug Mary. Or, you know, you could just use your magical Murano wand and turn it into Murano. <laughs> that seemed to work last time. Poof. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know. Made in Italy, Murano. It is a really nice piece. I like it. I just, I don't get Murano feels from it, I guess is what I'm saying. And you got those and these. More puppy dogs. More Scotty dogs. Lots of Scotties. Ooh, and some setters. And Narco. Got some setters this time. Ooh, what you got there? Ittery. Looks like Italy. Ittery. <laughs> it's Ittery. Oh my gosh, that one piece is beautiful. Is it just marked Italy? My goodness gracious, look at that. I think I've seen one that pretty before. I like that a lot. That's cute. I'm running out of room. It's cute little glass dish. And then you put the little dog lid on it. Oh, little Scotty. I think that's Jeanette. I don't know, but he's cool. He is cool. What is with you and Scotty's this trip? You were all about the Scotty's. Oh, uh, no. It's all Puppy about dogs. the dogs. What's that? What it's all about the Benjamins for this guy. <laughs> fill little that one Scotty up. big. He ma he kind of matches this uh, Scotty ornament. They're matchy matchy. So there's a bunch of this pottery in here, and it's all marked Juno, Alaska. Like here's a grizzly bear with a salmon. Mm -hmm. The color on this stuff is really cool. We have to we have to do some research on this. Cause I, th I I got a feeling this is this is good pottery. I got a really good feeling about this. This is an Eric pick, mm -hmm. for sure, absolutely. And I, I Trust think Trust Eric. I think he's I think he's picked something <laughs> good here for us. Oh look at this moose. Oh, this mm. guy. Isn't he cool? He's awesome. He's great. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, well, that's cute. Cool. What do you have there? It's a vintage alarm clock and it still works. Are you sure? Yes. I hear tick, 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 it tick, tick, tick. It's cute. It is cute. The alarm, it's going to blow up in my hand. No, I have it at stop. Okay. <laughs> it's not on alarm. <laughs> you can turn the alarm off on those. I didn't know anything about vintage alarm clocks. All I know is digital. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Wowzers. That's stunning. Look at that. We're always picking up violets in the snow, and this is painted with yellow roses. That's so pretty. Is this yellow roses in the snow? Don't eat the yellow snow? What? It's not signed by the artist. Of course, I was holding it so you guys couldn't see. It also has the roses on the boots. Maybe. Wow, I really like that a lot. It's not marked. I'm assuming it's Venom. It does have a doink. Actually, you know what? That might be manufacturer. That looks like there was a bubble there. Yeah. The yep. That's what that was. It's not a doink. It's a bubble in the mold. And last but not least. Oh, you have some more for me. More plates. More plates. So these go with those demi-toss 
cups that you had at the very beginning. <laughs> I got one That's more. not it. One more. Goodness gracious. I was actually looking for the blue ones because I'm like, I have all these blue cups and I don't have any blue plates. I liked it. I thought it was cool. It like looked like Mexico? totally like 1970s Italy? to me. I don't know. I like that. And it's a console bowl, for sure. I really like that. Nice pottery piece. Mm-hmm. It has grown it at one point. Yeah. Probably said Royal Hager. I don't know about that. <laughs> nice try though. All right, my dear. <laughs> Alright, so I think that concludes this video. I think Andrew did alright. I'm pretty thrilled with some of the stuff out here on this table. Um, specifically, if I had to pick my favorite piece, I, I honestly don't know what my favorite piece would be. My eyeball? It's a little creepy right now. My <laughs> I, re I really, I do like the swirled pottery from Alaska. Oh my god, That's yeah. really neat. And the dog. That folk art dog, that old primitive dog, yeah. that is awesome. I think those are some of my, my favorites. Monkey. The monkey. <laughs> I can't. I can't with the monkey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to end this video. And we've got another one to film today before we have to go pick up kids. So don't be alarmed if I'm wearing the exact same outfit in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you guys tomorrow. We do bathe, I promise. Well, some, I do. Sometimes. Later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs>